Pacific Arusala. Can you say that again? This is Astrophora lycopridoides. Oh, so, oh, the Astrophora. Okay, so we yeah. got the star shaped spore. Star shaped spore. It's a parasitic mushroom on these blackening ursulas. Yeah. yeah, and I know it's, there's two species there's uh, Parasitica and there's uh, uh, Lycoperdoides. Uh -huh. I can tell it's Lycoperdoides because the top is starting to turn brown. And what that is, is this mushroom has gills and it produces spores like a normal mushroom that are sexual spores. Yeah. But then on top, it also produces um, chlamydospores or, or asexual spores. And so it's an interesting strategy. And a lot of mycoparasitic uh, mushrooms do that. Uh, Dendrocolibia racemosa also has those two different dispersal methods. And that one also parasitizes rusula, but it's in a totally different family. Uh -huh. So super, super weird cool. like that. The spores. Oh yeah, so it's, it's, it's very interesting. It's a step. Yeah. It's a step in the formation. Yeah, the one of from Europe. Yeah, yeah. It I is from the one, same one from Europe. Just yeah. sitting there, yeah. flirting with one another. Yeah, just sitting there next to each Quite a collection. What is that? Mushrooms are very sexy. <laughs> yeah, and there's some there's there's other mushrooms yeah. that are called wow. heteroperiotic. That's strange looking. Several. It's like mm -hmm. pleuratoid the way it's growing like that. It's yeah. bizarre. Sorry, I'm What's this? So it's kind of gets, gets Not that one, though. I know that's that's a challenge. There's so this is a big suillus. That's just yeah. oh dang, that's a big boy. What makes it a calobalitis? A bitter taste. Okay, it's not a suillus though. Oh, no. No. Suillus are slimy on the top. Gotcha. That's a Thalia Schwanitzia, right? I can't see underneath it. No, I can't see underneath it. Okay. I think that's what that is. No. What's that? Yep. Well, colors. Yeah? Oh, it just looks a little older, it's... doesn't it? That one's <laughs> Thalia, right? Yeah. So this is the blue chanterelle? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Thalia zealous. Where did that come from? It's not native here, yeah. Jack and Lauren brought that. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Did they bring it from somewhere else? Someone who brought wool dyed oh. with it. That's where I've oh, seen it okay. growing in the Cascades, but. Um, yeah, he gave me a little piece of it to yeah, dye yeah. with. You found these in the Washington Cascades? Yeah. Really? Yeah. South. Good, that, by Mount Southern, yeah. Southern, yeah. Okay. Mount Adams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. It's a nice, but not this year. What do we got here, Alan? What's that one? <laughs> <laughs> so that's from Barry's basket, I think. Uh, as decorum. As to Azure essence. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a powerful piece of medicine right there. Look at how it's blue a really it is. Big one. Hmm. This is grows native right out here on the coast, yeah? Mm-hmm. The conica is unique in that um, the gills are always red fluorescent. Well not always, but as far as we know, red fluorescent. Most of the ones I've oh, checked cool. have not been. Yeah. Oh beautiful, look at that. Just tiny. Did I see that in the light? Yeah, it's gonna be hard because of. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it might blow it out to have the uh, the plastic being UV plastic. Cool. Well, one of these will. Yeah. <laughs> one of those will do ya. Will do ya, right? <laughs> no, at least two. <laughs> yeah. Let's see when it turns blue. Okay. Yeah, you want to dry this. Quickly. Oh, is that right? You lose potency, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but bluing is a sign that it. It is was, potent and at least potent. was potent. <laughs> it was yeah, potent. Yeah, but you don't, <laughs> you don't want to, you know, totally mush them up. No. What's your, uh, so, so what's your take on the Chrysoblema, uh, argument or whatever that's going on? Oh, is that the new name for, um, Muscaria? Oh, really? Yeah, there's, I'm... oh, yeah. There's, there's kind of a controversy right now about the North American Muscaria is being switched back to Chrysoblema, and that's, uh, three different varieties they're all synonyms with chrysoblema so flavi vulvata and uh um guess who i and and one same. other they're saying that they're all just chrysoblema the old name that it was described so a long time ago people to burn these things, it, it, them. right <laughs> you know what what a, a much older mycologist once told me a much wiser one was that a nice we're gonna figure there. out in 10 years that ITS sequences don't really mean as much as we think they do. <laughs> and then we're going to have to change Go all deeper. The names to something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the I truth is, the really mushrooms never change, just the names, right? If they weren't organized, they definitely aren't. Yeah, that's for sure. 
I think, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> so we put all the crib down for the stick. I yeah. suppose I should volunteer my... Opinion. These turn really cool red in the KOH. Yeah, we watched that. Yeah. Also make dye. Oh, with the crew gonfus. Yep. They make dye? I've okay. Gotten, I've gotten dye out of them. Cool. Do you just randomly take mushrooms and then try to dye fabric with them? Yeah. Cool. The I've always wondered, like, how that... Tomatoes? Yeah. Tomatosa. Oh, good. I'm glad Tomatosa. someone grabbed that. What is this? She, uh, Dobby's got a huge bag of them. Yeah. She's going to cook. She's going to cook them up. Yeah. What? Oh, is it, it's an edible? Sue Willis Tomentosa. Oh, it's a Sue Willis. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, is this oh, it's another, also dyed yellow. Yeah. What's the cowboy that's up here? Blue bruising. I don't know. Bruber peas? I don't And we got a lacaria that's just all, all by itself. Lacaria lacata. Or whatever it's called. It's like a high high or something. Wow, what is that? It's so vibrant. Here's the, it's my Cena Amicta. I don't have my this brush. Is there a the blue at the top? So how I know it's a Cortinarius is by that brownish uh, Cortina. The 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 kind of uh, a little ring on little ring up here near the top. Oh, there's a couple of things stuck on there. Mm -hmm. You see how things are stuck on that the edge of that. Mm -hmm. The camera really wants to take a picture of your. Shoe. And so these the, <laughs> because that's why we put it in a group that has both a slimy stem and a slimy cap. Oh great! That's, they're they're, they're hard to fresh. Cortinarius, a pretty big genus of mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah, it's just probably. Uh, I don't know, we had five, four or six tribes before, and I know they've split that up a lot. So. Yeah, a lot of people are upset, huh? Or like, yeah, it's like no, no, it's, daunting. It's, it's a mess. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you've got 600 kinds of, of mushrooms. It's hard to find <laughs> different characteristics that you can tease them apart. Right? These are generally no good to eat, huh? But I didn't want oh, they're a huge source of food no, for I, I guess, uh, wildlife right. in general, the Cortinarius. I mean, you're talking about a very yeah, I would have to bring big a group of mushrooms, to right? You're probably one of the, if not right. the most abundant, I mean, just, one that, of the uh, most abundant no, groups of like mushrooms in the, in the yeah. Pacific yeah. Northwest. These are mycorrhizal, they grow with trees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're all, and I'm, I'm too old for some of these things. Maybe tonight we'll... Showing some under the black light. I can it's turn the black light on here it's and see if anything comes cool. out. I have one too. We should do a hunt or something. That'd be fun. I'm thinking more on the table. So see if we got anything <laughs> that'll, that'll make, make nice on the table. Uh oh, look at the edge. There you go. Oh, look at in the ca look at my camera. Whoa. But sometimes I What's causing that? A bruise? No, that's. Hmm. That's yeah, that is a handy flashlight. Yeah, yeah, that's nice, huh? Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Those light mm -hmm. can really. The pogey. Look, the, it's interesting. The edge of the pogey. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. rise of pogey on a landing, I think. Yeah. That's the one that we <laughs> see around here. And that, that does, that like does have a nice release. reaction <laughs> under the UV. Yeah, yeah, wow. And of course, that's in Coloma. Or isn't that hyphaloma? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the hyphaloma, oh, hyphaloma fasciculari. Yep. Oh, if you Yellow dye yarn scary. with this one, it fluoresces. Cool. Faeolius. Can we, what do we see on it? Yeah. So yeah, you can get, you get some mm -hmm. light out of that. That, that, that um, is pretty this good. This guy, Sydney, I know, he makes, uh, There's another one. like a henna tattoo thing. Yeah, yeah. Do you know him? He's yeah, I just did a video with him last week. Yeah, yeah. Another Singleton. edge phenomena there. Sydney well, over Singleton. Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. He, he makes, uh, these dyes that only... He UV does henna. Tattoos yeah. like henna uh -huh. with this stuff. Cool. And then, and then when he's, you could go. This out was really neat. That was. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that, that is a. Uh, they <laughs> talked about it before. Astrophora. Astrophora. Yeah, it's going to be uh, come Dangly. like a little puffball when it dries, when it starts to dry out a bit. Mm -hmm. they, Astrophora. They talked to us about um, one that grew on a black. Uh, Blackening bristle yesterday, and it was a uh, yeah, Calibia tuberosa. Same thing, this is a blackening bristle. Dendro, oh, go call him Dendro Calibia now, okay. Uh -huh. And that's Summer? the Dendro Calibia is the one that has the, the branching stem, it has the little, the little like okay. barbed wire coming down the stem or something. Okay, and what do you guys got here tonight? We have a seafood mushroom paella. Ooh. So there's mushrooms, mushroom stock, cochin.
morel and lobster chunk. Oh and then gosh. lobster mushroom chunk. And then there's clams. So look at the morel right there. Oh yeah, morels in there. Yes. And then hey. salmon. And then there's a razor clam right here from out right out there. Dude. The this is purple heaven. savories are from Lilliwap. Lilliwap, I know Lilliwap. Yeah, right by Hoodsport. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hammer, hammer. yeah cool. Yes. Right on. Thanks. You're welcome.